morning. It's Katie. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I have prep work to do. Um, I think I say this every year, but we're going to have a laid back Thanksgiving and I'm not going to do like a whole big crazy thing. But this year it's going to be even more relaxed. Um, we're smoking a turkey, so that means I don't have to worry about getting the bird in really early. Um, my husband's taking care of all that. I don't have to do gravy and it just makes the end of the meal things a lot easier because making the gravy although i love turkey gravy it's like something that you have to do at the last minute when the turkey comes out so kind of puts a little bit of a stress on the whole day but actually i think i'm gonna get everything done if i get everything done today i'll have everything done ahead of time except for the turkey and then actually like warming things so um, we're just gonna have the smoked turkey and roasted vegetables i got brussels sprouts and i'll probably do carrots as well I'm going to make a cornbread dressing and I'm going to make everything dry ahead of time and everything wet ahead of time and I'm just going to stir them together and bake it. And then I'm going to make the casseroles today. We're doing green bean casserole and sweet potato casserole with a pecan crust. And those are going to be fully done and they'll just go in the oven. Maybe I'll hold back on the putting the crust on, but I'll mix it up. That way it doesn't get soggy. And then, what else? <clears throat> I'm making pies. So I'll do that today and they'll be all ready to go. So, the last video you saw of me, I cleaned my kitchen. It's a little bit messy, but I wanted to show you. I It's going to be probably next week or later before I get all of my videos edited. But there is my pineapple jam. Turned out really nicely. Over here is my pineapple quartz. One jar did not seal, so it's in the refrigerator. Um, and I had already brushed my teeth for the night, so I didn't taste it. Um, but I, I'm going to taste a little bit to see how cooked it is, because that's the one thing about canning is sometimes things get a little overcooked. And then this is the cranberry mustard. It's not as red as some of the other pictures are, so I don't know if it's something that kind of develops over time. Um, I did taste this, and it's kind of horrible, but... I, I kind of got a warning about that from a couple people to just let it sit. So that's everything that I did yesterday. I did three canning video, three canning projects, which is enough, and um, then made videos about them as well, in addition to you know cooking meals for my family. So anyway, I have my to-do list, and I kind of jotted down the recipes that um, you know I need specific ingredient amounts for. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes and get my kitchen put back together and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm ready to start. I'm going to start with making cornbread for the cornbread casserole. Or the uh, yeah, cornbread dressing. boiled eggs since they'll need to cool and of course if you watch my channel you know I love to use my pressure cooker for hard boiled eggs that's what I'm gonna do and the recipe calls for three normally I would just go ahead and make some more but I actually need eggs for quite a few of my recipes and I forgot to grab extra so I'm just gonna do the three To 
and while I have the oven going, I'll go ahead and toast the white bread. It's part of this recipe. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video. I mentioned it in the previous video. I'm using a, a recipe on here on YouTube from Old Man Cooking. I can link down below. And I had never had cornbread dressing or stuff. I call it stuffing, but it's dressing. Um, I had never had it before I tried this recipe, I think, two years ago. And I loved it. I guess I didn't know what I was missing all these years. Two, four, six, eight. I've adjusted this angle a few times, and it feels like you're not seeing what I want you to see. So, all right. Next up, so, uh, I need to make stock with the insides of the turkey, but I kind of don't want to open up the turkey. I might just use um, I might just use chicken stock, or I might just make the stock tomorrow when we're opening the turkey anyway. So I guess I won't do that ahead. I can make the poultry seasoning. Since I don't have that, I'm just going to use what I have here. So i got to go out front and raid the herb garden. Okay, so i got some, let's see, some sage. And some thyme. And some rosemary. And I don't have marjoram, which is what the recipe calls for, but I have oregano. And then it calls for black pepper and nutmeg. I'll link the recipe down below. It's on all recipes. start the veggies. The eggs are done. Set that aside. Okay, and actually before I get too far ahead of myself, I need to take some things out of the freezer. Got a frozen pie crust, so it's got to thaw for like an hour before I can roll it out. And I also, I made my cranberry sauce ahead. I put it in a freezer safe mason jar and it's ready. So this is actually a, cr a cranberry pineapple sauce. I think it was on the ball website. It's basically cranberry sauce and then you add um, crushed pineapple in place of some of the water. So that's just gonna go straight in the fridge to thaw and this I'll just leave on the counter to thaw. Start to smell toast. So I gotta keep an eye on that bread in there. All right, so first up is onions and celery for the stuffing. Dressing, sorry, I keep calling it stuffing. It's dressing. I need about a cup of each, so it should be good. sweet potatoes. Just see those right here in the pressure cooker. Since it's already out, just give it a quick wash and um, something my mom taught me was things that are underground start underwater. Things that grow above ground you start above the water or you boil the water beforehand. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I said it wrong. But basically, root vegetables need to be started in cold water and brought up to a boil. And other vegetables, you bring the water to a boil. And then you add them. So that's just the way she taught it to me. It makes it easy to remember. So potatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes, things like that should always be started in cold water. So I have my water in my pot here. I'll go ahead and peel these. I don't hardly ever peel 
sweet potatoes, but these are going to be whipped up into a puree, so I'll go ahead and follow the recipe. I'm just having the hardest time getting everything I want in the shot today. That's a lot of sweet potatoes. All right. So as you can see, I took the bread out. It has toasted, so it's just kind of cool and kind of dry out a little bit. And check on the cornbread. The timer went off. Uh, I don't know. It looks okay. I don't know why it's split like that, um, but I don't think it needs to be like all that pretty since it's going to be crumbled up. Alright, next up I'm going to peel and chop up these. I'm just going to toss them with some oil. These are carrots if you can't see that. I'm just going to toss them with some oil and put them on a roasting pan with the Brussels sprouts. So I'll just go ahead and clean them up right into the storage container I'll use. See if that's enough. I usually do boiled carrots um, because I use the cooking water to make my gravy but since I'm not making gravy because we're having a smoked turkey this year I will just make roasted carrots. They're one of my favorite parts so I can't skip them. So I just trim the bottom, which releases the outer leaves. Not anything else that's damaged. And then score the bottom so it cooks more evenly. Mm -hmm. good time. I need to start on the pies because it's actually taking one tonight. So I want to make sure it's done and set and everything. Okay, first up I make the peanut butter chocolate pie. So I make Oreo cookie crust. And the crusts are 18 Oreo cookies plus 3 tablespoons of melted butter. I'm using vegan margarine and I'm using dairy free chocolate chips. But you can use whatever works best for you. So I'm going to put half this in here, half in here. And if you crush up your Oreos in a food processor, you can just put this butter in and mix it. It makes it a little easier. It doesn't always work so well in the Vitamix, so. Alright, so once everything is moist, just kind of spread it out evenly. And then I use the bottom of a flat cup or a measuring cup. Just press it firmly into the bottom. Sort of up the sides, too, if you can get it to stay up. Alright, 
So we have two crusts. I'm going to do the first flavor. So first you put in a block of silken tofu. Blend this up a little bit first. And the melted chocolate. Same thing for the peanut butter, but tofu. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And some sugar. Okay, that's what the peanut butter looks like. Last year I used a hand mixer and it didn't end up as smooth, so definitely need a blender or a food processor. And now we fill the pies. And you can just do one filling or the other, but I like to do both and kind of swirl them. It's time to swirl. Okay, so they're not perfect, but they're gonna be delicious. All right, well, that was a mess. I feel like I was being very productive and getting a lot done, and I feel like making those two pies was messier and took longer than everything else I've done today combined. But they're done now and they're in the fridge. I had to do a little creative rearranging in the fridge to get them to fit. I need to make sure there's plenty of room for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and make sweet potato casserole. So these I just pressure cooked and then they've been sitting here cooling off. I'm just draining off the excess water. And this recipe is from Foodlishes. But I'm just going to eyeball the things I'm going to put in. It calls for buttermilk and milk. I'm just going to use some almond milk. Instead of maple syrup, which I don't have, I'm going to use a little bit of brown sugar. a little touch of vanilla, some cayenne, some allspice. Okay, two eggs. Is this gonna fit in there? No. Yes. Yeah, it'll fit. Right? It's gotta. Oh look, there's some unmashed potatoes in the bottom. Whoopsie. It fits. There's more in the pot. I'm getting it. I think it filled it perfectly. Alright, so the topping for the sweet potatoes, okay, we'll just keep separate, put it on right before I put it in the oven. It's got some flour, and brown sugar, You know, the whole thing is covered 
the turkey's nose is called. The little flap of flesh that covers the turkey's nose is beak. You know what it's called? No. It's called the snood. The snood? No. Maybe I should have used a bigger bowl. Melted butter. Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh my gosh. You didn't see any of that awesome stirring footage, but you saw me sploosh butter all over my counter. <sighs> Cannot win. I think that's stirred enough. Oh, nope, oh, there's some dry flour in the bottom. Okay. So that's the topping for the sweet potatoes. Okay. Next, I guess I'll go ahead and break this stuff up. Here. Next is pumpkin pie. I think I have everything else done and there's still a tiny bit of room left in the fridge so I'll go ahead and make Is there a recipe that you make only because your spouse or kids like it and you would never make it except for them? Leave a comment down below. I love you. I will say, if I have to make something that I'm not 100% pleased about, at least it's three cans dumped in a casserole and baked. I can do that. I can do that with a smile on my face even. And the oven is preheated for the pie. Okay, so I got everything on my to-do list done. So in case I'm, unless I'm forgetting something major, all we have to do tomorrow is mix up the prepared ingredients for the casserole or the uh, stuffing and put the casseroles in the oven put the vegetables coat them in oil and put those on a roasting pan and the turkey is going to be done by this one and my kitchen is pretty clean because I cleaned as I went so I'll run the dishwasher put away these few things rinse out those cans and I'll be back to square one no cooking on Thanksgiving no cooking on Thanksgiving <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh, I'll show you the pumpkin pie when it comes out of the oven, otherwise I will see you guys tomorrow for a day in the life. Alright, I'm excited. Thanksgiving. Go, go, go! Bye!